By the time Michael Douglas was diagnosed with oral cancer, the tumour was the size of a walnut. But even more remarkable is his frank disclosure that the cancer was caused by sexual activity. It had been thought his years of heavy drinking and smoking were to blame, but he now says HPV, the virus that causes most cases of cervical cancer, had triggered the disease in his throat. The link is little known. I've never heard of it, and I don't think any of my friends have ever heard of that link between that and cancer. I think probably anybody would have thought it had been like smoking or something such as that, but then if you actually have proof that it was something such as this, then it needs to be known, really, because other people can be affected too. I'd never, to be honest, thought about like the kind of transmission that you could get. Like, I never thought that cancer would have been linked to an STD or like that kind of, that kind of contraction. There are more than 100 different types of the human papillomavirus, but only 15 or so are linked to cancer and are sexually transmitted. By the age of 25, 90% of sexually active people will have been exposed to the virus, though almost all develop immunity. It's estimated that between 25 and 35% of oral cancers are HPV-related. That's about 1,500 to 2,000 cases in the UK each year. People certainly shouldn't start panicking. The majority of the population have this infection, but only a very small number of people will get cancer as a result. So that's still something that needs to be worked out. Girls are now offered a vaccine against some types of the virus, which protects them and probably their partners against oral cancer. But gay men are still at risk, and some groups want boys to be vaccinated too. Men who have sex with women will get some natural protection from the women being vaccinated, but also for men who have sex with men and gay men, they need to be vaccinated because currently there's no protection except using condoms. Michael Douglas's intimate revelation is surprising for a man who's been to court in the past to protect his privacy, but celebrities can break through social taboos and raise public awareness of health issues that are otherwise difficult to discuss. Thomas Moore, Sky News.